Hello, everyone. Welcome. What an incredible morning. We're here to talk about what we just watched, the GPT-5 presentation. Sam Altman took the stage to tell us about the new era of AI, and I'm shocked. Shocked is an understatement, Rodrigo. You know, I remember 32 months ago when ChatGPT was launched. In that first week, one million people used it. And now, 700 million people per week. It's simply surreal. It's become the standard tool for working, learning, creating. A reminder, folks, that at the end of the video, we'll leave a link to the channel we're analyzing the news for you to subscribe to. Before we start, leave a comment. What's your favorite artificial intelligence? Tell us. Let's chat. Getting back to the video, what we saw is the launch of GPT-5. Sam described it as a major upgrade to GPT-40 and a gigantic step towards AGI artificial general intelligence. He said we're going to love using GPT-5 much more than any previous AI. It's more useful, smarter, faster, and more intuitive. Sam Altman said good morning and reminded us that 32 months ago, they launched ChatGPT. You might be asking yourself, what is GPT-5 capable of doing? That's a great question because the event itself answered it. They used a perfect analogy to explain the leap. If GPT-3 was that high school student with flashes of genius but still a bit immature, and GPT-40, a college student, with a more solid intelligence. Now, with GPT-5, we're talking about a PhD level expert. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a new category of AI. The analogy makes perfect sense. The intelligence, the intuition, the speed. They said it's intuitive, and that's what truly brings us closer to technology, isn't it? And the feature they called software on demand. Wow. The idea that it can write an entire computer program from scratch, that's revolutionary. Think about how this democratizes creation. It doesn't matter if you're an experienced programmer or a layperson. Your idea can now materialize into code. It's the end of the barrier to entry for programming Milena. But the impact doesn't stop at technology. They showed that GPT-5 goes from helping to plan a party to something as serious as helping you understand your health and your medical decisions. It's a true superpower. They said it would have been unimaginable at any other time in history. And it's true. We're in the middle of this, witnessing something that will change everyone's lives. And that's what it was made for, to be universal, to empower anyone. Yes, to empower. And what did they say about the API, Rodrigo? The focus on businesses and developers showing that they want this technology to be the foundation for the next wave of innovation. They're excited to see what will be built on top of GPT-5. And so am I. Rodrigo, I think it's important for us to comment on the essential features of the GPT-5 model. The more technical part of the presentation got me very excited. They said that GPT-5 is a cutting edge model that now pauses to think before responding. It's not just speed, it's depth of reasoning. They want the perfect answer, not just the fastest one. And that's something we as users expect. And the results in academic tests prove it. I wrote it down here. It set records in S-W-E-B-E-N-C-H for software engineering and in A-I-D-E-R-P-O-L-Y-G-L-O-T for different programming languages. But what caught my attention the most was the score in visual reasoning surpassing human experts. This shows that it's not just text. It's the ability to understand and process the world in a multimodal way. It's a model that truly thinks. And it also performed exceptionally well in mathematical reasoning in the AIME 2025 exam. You know, we always hear about models with hallucinations, that is, factual errors. They dedicated a lot of effort to mitigating that in GPT-5. The result is a model that, according to them, is the most reliable and accurate they have ever created. And with exceptional performance in health-related questions, reliability is the most important factor of all. I agree. And the best part, Rodrigo, is the accessibility. 
they made it clear that GPT-5 will be available to all users, including on the free tier. It's a policy of democratizing artificial intelligence and for paid users, the promise of unlimited access. All the features we already love, such as uploading files and images, data analysis and image generation, will work on GPT-5, which is a relief since we've already gotten used to using them. And we get to the coolest part, the demonstrations. Elaine showed how GPT-5 Pro delves into problems. We saw the model think aloud to create interactive code that illustrated the Bernoulli effect. They highlighted that what would take a programmer a week to do, GPT-5 did in two minutes. It's an absurd leap in productivity. And the quality of the written responses, Rodrigo? They showed how GPT-5's responses sound less like an AI and more like you're talking to a friend. It's what they called a friend with a high IQ and EQ. It understands nuances, emotions, which makes the interaction much more human. Jan did a demo that left me speechless. He asked the model to create a web application to learn French and GPT-5 did it quickly with flashcards, quizzes, and an interactive game. It's proof that front-end coding can now be done by anyone. And the voice, Rodrigo. Ruchen showed us how the model's voice now sounds incredibly natural. They also added video features, where the model can see what you see and the ability to translate between languages in real time. And for learning, there's a new study and learn mode that guides you to a deeper understanding of what you're studying. It's a private tutor in your pocket. And what about Christina Milena? Chat GPT's memory has been enhanced in a way that will change our routine. Now with access to Gmail and Google Calendar, it can plan your schedule, remind you of important emails, and even put together a packing list for a trip. Chat GPT is becoming the personal assistant we've all always dreamed of. The security part is crucial, and they dedicated a good amount of time to it. Sachi's and Sebastian's team talked about how they focused on mitigating hallucinations, and most importantly, deception, which is when the model misrepresents its actions. They guarantee that GPT-5 is significantly less deceptive. The safe completion feature is a direct answer to this problem. Instead of simply refusing to answer, the model tries to maximize usefulness within safety constraints, explaining the reason for the refusal and offering safe alternatives. It's a more robust and transparent system. Furthermore, the way they trained GPT-5 using a high quality synthetic curriculum generated by OpenAI's own models shows that they are creating a virtuous cycle of constant learning and improvement. And the impact in the real world? The story Sam Altman told with the couple about the health journey was heartbreaking, but it showed the power of the tool. GPT-5 is the best model ever for health, empowering patients to understand their diagnoses and make more informed decisions. This is empowerment at its highest level. And in the business world, Olivier Godemont made it clear that more than 5 million companies already use the technology. GPT-5 promises to be an even bigger leap. He cited concrete examples, Amgen, which uses it for in-depth reasoning in drug design, the bank BBVA, which saw an enormous improvement in the accuracy and speed of financial analysis, transforming weeks of work into a few hours, and Oscar Health, which uses the model for clinical reasoning. This proves that AI is already deeply integrated into the most critical sectors of the economy. And for the developer community, Greg Brockman was emphatic. GPT-5 is the best model for coding. It's incredible for agent of coding tasks, where it can take a complex instruction and follow several steps to complete it. It also excels in front-end development, creating beautiful and interactive visualizations and games with ease. Yes, and Michelle Pokras detailed the API, which now has the GPT-5, GPT-5 Mini, and GPT-5 Nano models. For the first time, they've launched a minimal reasoning parameter, which allows the model's intelligence to be used faster, perfect for applications that need low latency. And the new features in the API don't stop there. They've added custom tools for long code arguments, 
tool call preambles where the model explains what it's going to do before acting, and a verbosity parameter to control the level of detail in the response. It's a much more robust and flexible tool for developers. To conclude, Yakub Pachaki's speech summed everything up. He said that our goal is to understand this miraculous technology, that what we saw today are just glimpses of new ideas. GPT-5 is the result of years of research and shows us that we still have a lot to learn. That's exactly it. The future isn't something distant. It's being built now, with technologies like this. It's an exciting journey. And open A. I seems to be just starting to show us what's possible. I can't wait to see what's next. Me neither, Milena. Me neither. And it's with that expectation that we say goodbye for today. A hug to all and see you next time. This video doesn't end now. It continues with us chatting in the comments. If you found this video interesting, I invite you to become a channel member and like this video. Here at the top right, I'll leave a video suggestion for you to continue with me. I'll see you in the comments and in the next video. See you soon. Exactly. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'm Rodrigo, she's Milena, and we'll see you next time with more news.